Welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching episode 9 and 10 of Andor. Uh, I'm really liking the show. It has been vastly different from episode 4 all the way to episode 8. Those four episodes, a lot happened. And there was like incredible world building, culture building, uh, character building. There was so much that was going on. Um, and, and just like the visuals that we're getting and, and the music and the sound design, everything has just been so good. And I'm so happy that I came back to it. But definitely um, the the storyline that I've been thinking the most about that that like literally has been kind of like the thing that I can't wait to get to is back at the prison. Like it is fascinating to me to watch all of these men be subjected to like these 12 hour shifts where there's a competition. So it's always probably high adrenaline and high energy and, and whether or not you get like properly nourished to endure that. And then, you know, the, the leader of the room, Kino, you know, he's in competition with other rooms and, and table five is in competition with all the other, the, the seven tables that are in the room. Uh, it's interesting. It's so interesting. And not, I mean, like the scary part is the floor. Right. Like like that's that like a guy jumped to his death onto the floor because the, the conditions are so bad that it's so sterile. And so I don't want to say boring because I don't think boring is the correct word, but it's like there, there's no nature. There's no air. There's no sun. You can't see the outside. You can't see the water like there's nothing. There's literally nothing and everything is stark, white, plain, flavorless. And if you are lucky enough to get flavor, I don't know how good of a flavor that is, um, but it, it it's just awful. And especially when Cassian arrives, a lot of the prisoners are asking him about P.O.R.D. And that's the thing that like the Empire has now instituted galaxy wide and all of their sentences were doubled. Um, I can't imagine that for uh, what's his name? Ulef Ulef that that's good because he's not doing well as it is. He's, you know, old and he was struggling to put things together, the mechanisms that they're building. I don't know what those are. Those part of like ships, the prison TIE fighters. Like I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I don't know if they ever go into that, but I would like to know what they're building and what it is going to. I highly doubt that it's nonsense unless there's like other rooms in the prison that break it down, put it on racks and then send it to another room where people put it together. So like they're just constantly just rotating it and not really doing anything. I feel like that's a waste of labor. I'm not really uh, a fan of that with the prison system, but I feel like like that's exactly what the Empire would do. But, you know, these these guys, like, they're... <laughs> like, I, like I said, like, I... <sighs> I was getting anxious watching them put stuff together and Cassian's like watching them and like trying to see how everything goes together. And then, you know, Kino is like yelling at him for like, like taking a break and like, like watching, um, you left kind of like struggle a little bit and they're helping him. And there was really nothing Cassian could do at that point, but you know, Kino didn't waste any time letting Cassian know that it was not okay that he was taking a break. Um, that guy does not seem great. <laughs> so we have Jumbach, Ham, is it Zol? Zol? Melshi, Taga, and Yulaf, along with Cassian. I think his name is Keef. Cassian. Keef. We'll get there. I, 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 I have no doubt in my mind that the, the focus of the next couple episodes will involve the prison, but I, I don't, I feel like it's impenetrable. I feel like there's not um, an easy way to escape. I feel like it's almost impossible. But I did notice when they were bringing Cassian in that there was a guard that didn't show up and then he showed up late. And then I was like, is there something that's going on? Like, like there wouldn't be a reason to like really bring up that guard being late unless we are going to be utilizing that guard later. Um, and then you also saw a prisoner kind of signing to another prisoner. So like they're talking to each other, even though they don't ever see each other. So to me, there is something afoot, which I always think when it comes to prisons, that there's going to be an escape. <laughs> and I have no doubt Cassian will be at the center of that some way, somehow. Now back with the uh, Empire and the ISB, Deirdre has gotten information from Karn, who is kind of like, trying to like put out there about Cassian, but it was like about stealing fuel or whatever, uh, something that wasn't really related to his job. And he was like at some point going to get in trouble for it. Um, 
But, you know, he's kind of essential to them learning about Luthen, even though they don't know Luthen's name, but they know that there's this other person that exists um, because of Cassian and who was seen with Cassian. And they call him Axis, which I thought was like, at the at the time, I was just like, not Fulcrum, but like the rebels named Fulcrum. I, I wouldn't take it from the Empire if they said like, oh, you're Axis. And I would have been like, oh, my name is now Axis. Like, no. Uh, but like Luthen, Luthen is, uh, he, he's, he's vulnerable. And that was something that Clea was trying to tell him when Bix was still trying to communicate with him from Ferex. It was like, you need to shut this line down. And he actually has Vel and Cinta in Ferex to try to take care of Cassian because no one knows where he is. Um, so they're watching Bix and they're watching Brasso and they're probably watching Marva. I was not happy about the Brasso thing. Um, cause I, I adore Brasso. Um, Bix already has other eyes on her. Deirdre is interrogating her after interrogating, interrogating Pac. And by interrogate, I mean torture. Um, it's an interrogation droid, but it's a, it's a torture droid. Um, so I don't know if she's going to spill the beans on Marva. I don't know if she's going to spill the beans on Cassian at all about Luthen, even though she doesn't know Luthen's name, but like she knows his face. Um, you know, if, if there's like, like a book of people to look through, she might be like that guy. Um, but because uh, Deirdre is now in charge of the Morlana sector, um, I feel like she is going to like really be formidable. Like she already was. Like when she <laughs> when she does her little mic drop thing about like like this is what I found out, and then and then she's given Morlana. Um, I I don't think that she's like taking it as like oh I succeeded. I think she's taking it as I want more. And she really wants to show that she's like good at her job and that she's in control of this. And the one thing I don't like is the torture, but like I kind of dig her as a character. I think she's kind of a, a, a good character because you know what her focus is. Um, now, if we can expand a little bit on her character and just know a little bit more about her and why she's kind of charging forward like that, that'd be great. Because I know why Karn wants to charge forward and he wants to be successful is one, so he doesn't have to listen to his mother talk about it. Uh, and two, so he can actually like clear his name now and make a name for himself. And I don't know if he's going to be able to do that in in uh, the Imperial. I don't know if he's going to work for ISB, but like I, I feel like like being an officer of the Empire would really suit Karn well. Um, and I like I said, I really like Karn. He is 100% right. He did nothing wrong until he started like doing like the thing of like the the fake reports. But like that's not. That's not killing somebody, Cassian. Uh, but like, I, I, I really like him as a character and I don't want him to succeed because that means that that our side doesn't succeed, but we know our side succeeds because we know what happens in the future. But I don't know where Karn goes from here. Um, I don't know if he uh, stays loyal with the Empire, if he's like, oh, shit, you know what? I think I'm going to be a rebel now. I don't think that's going to happen, but you never know. So after Luthen kind of decides to cut off communication with Bix, um, he does travel to go see Saw Gerrera, which was kind of exciting. Um, I would say that from Rogue One, Saw Gerrera was like probably my least favorite part of the entire movie and the whole, the whole poor gullet thing. Um, I just feel like they could have done it better, um, but he was memorable. So when I see him in Clone Wars... And in the Bad Batch, I get excited because I'm just like, like, oh, yeah, I want some more on this character. And he's very one note. <laughs> Saw seems very constant. Saw Saw. <laughs> and, and I mean, that's like something that like I admire a little bit about him. But the fact of the matter is that when Luthen comes to talk to him about like all these other rebel cells kind of forming an alliance, uh, Saw's not having it. Saw doesn't want anything to do with it. Like even he was offered like like weapons and, and 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 devices that will help him that will help his cause and and cause success but he ain't having it uh which is very saw Guerrero of him it really is um but then we also saw luthan kind of have a conversation with von mothma because um she didn't realize that what happened on aldani was going to happen and he 100 percent did and then he's trying to like play it off like no mm -mm, no i have no idea what you're talking about and she's not happy now with Mon Mothma, uh, I I just I I love like when she talks, she has my rapt attention. 
Like the the way she was talking to Tay and how she's kind of dropping hints, but like not really dropping hints. And and he kept kind of like saying like like you know I don't think we really have anything in common politically. And like you know like 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 I I don't I don't think we believe the same things. And she's trying to tell him like like the the Mon Mothma you know is a front. Like that's not who I am. That's not what I believe. And I think our politics align more than you think. Uh, I loved that moment. I loved when she was talking to the other senators and like they're kind of like talking about P.O.R.D. and like the emperor. And she's not bad mouthing the emperor, but she's also like like not kissing the ring. You know, like she she does. She she's definitely just kind of like suggesting that like maybe he's gone too far. And a lot of them were just like, well, don't do anything wrong and you don't have to worry about it. And she's like, well, I guess that kind of depends on your definition of wrong, because, you know, uh, your definition of wrong and somebody else's definition of wrong could be totally different. And you could go to jail for, you know, double, triple, quadruple, whatever, 600 times your sentence, like Cassian <laughs> should have been six months. I know it's six years. Uh, so I think she sees very clearly the emperor. She sees very clearly what's going on. And then there's like some other people that are just like, ah, you know, no big deal. And they're, they're just, they're just blowing smoke. Typical politician. Now I am a little bit worried with Mon and her, her husband, Perrin, who I do not like very much, but also her daughter. I, I, I already kind of have Perrin like in my mind as somebody who might be like working for the empire as a spy, but also the daughter, like the daughter is very suspicious of Tay. And I don't know if it's because she thinks her mother's having an affair, um, especially because I, I guess she married Perrin very young, like 15. Um, so that, that might, have been an arranged marriage. I don't think most people fall in love at that age. At least I didn't. Um, so for, for me, like I could definitely see that like Mon doesn't even love her husband. So the daughter sees it and thinks like, oh, she's having an affair with Tay. <clears throat> that's, that's going to cause problems. Now with Marva, 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 she does not go with Cassian when he wants to take her, you know, away with all of his credits and, and live a new life. She wants to stay. She wants to to be the heart of the rebellion. She wants to fight where she sits. She wants to be part of the fight. And, and now that the empire is in Ferrick, she's not going anywhere. Um, there was a scene where they had like Clem, who, you know, was obviously killed by the stormtroopers. He was hung in the square. And I don't know if it was before or after he died, but they killed him regardless. And then used his body as a display, but you know, she collapses because she's trying to open up a tunnel that used to be like this, this rebel tunnel that people would access Ferrix. And uh, I don't know if it's because she lost her mind because she seems like she's not in good health period, but I don't know if she's like lost her mind. And, and the reason why she's opening up the tunnel is because she still thinks she's in the fight or if she wants to see if it's still open so she can, you know, use it for other rebels. Uh, I think that's going to, that that's going to be something that we utilize, I think in a later episode, which I'm all for. Um, I, I like Marva, like I like how she's kind of like sticking with her convictions. And uh, I, I think like that, that fight's been in her the whole time and it continues to be, but I, I again, I don't know if she's fighting in her head or if she is still 100% present, ready to do whatever she needs to do to help the rebellion. She's a great character. Fiona Shaw is just killing it. Like she, the, I mean, like at first I was like, oh, it's Harry Potter's aunt. Like that's gonna be really hard for me to like ignore or not think of. And I honestly haven't like since like the first episode that she was in. Fiona is killing it. So the things that I'm kind of looking forward to is one, I mean, of course, Andy Serkis is Kino. I'd love to get more of him. His performance is really great. When he smiles, there is an evil that's behind it. There's a darkness that's behind it. He's just so good at playing that guy. He really is. Um, looking forward to more prison scenes, of course. I want more of Marva. I want more. I want to know what's going on with Bix. I, I want to see how she she does under interrogation. She seems tough. Um, I would like for that to actually be Bex. Because <laughs> I think Brasso's tough. I think Brasso is the, the guy that would probably give his life for his friend. I hope that doesn't happen, dear God, but it could. It very well could. He's just a good man. Uh, wh what's Karn's move now? Where is he going to go? What's he going to do? 
He was kind of shrugged off by Deirdre a little bit, but I feel like he doesn't give up. Obviously, he doesn't give up. His head is still stuck in Ferrix. It's still stuck on Cassian. And I don't think until Cassian is found or he has a face-to-face with Cassian that uh, he's going to quit. Looking forward to that as well. Uh, Luthen and Saw, I'd like to see where that goes. Uh, of course, Vel and Cinta, uh, what are they going to do with Brasso? Um, uh, hopefully nothing. Cinta... I always want to see her in action because of the first time I saw her in action, but now against Brasso, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, I'm really excited to get into these episodes because I feel like, I feel like there's a buildup. I feel like there's a crescendo that's happening. I feel like something big is coming, uh, especially because if you're in prison, you don't just get to walk out. So there must be an escape or a prison break or something, something with a, a lot of heft to it. Very excited. So let's get into it. I dig that. I dig that a lot. Kind of gave me like a Tron feel for a second there. Tron Legacy. I don't know if I remember the music from the first Tron, but Tron Legacy, I've watched a shit ton. Hey, Deirdre. Oh. I don't like wasting time. I get that. But one must be careful. Failing that, we have Dr. Gorst, who's developed a unique interview system some of us are very excited about. And suddenly it's morning, and there we are. Wasting time. She's so good. You're in my net, Biggs. Are you a fish or are you a thief? Hmm? My God. Seems a shame to end up on the carving board if your motivation here is just money. Now, I would prefer a conversation rather than put Dr. Gorst back to work. Yeah. But that, for the moment, is entirely up to you. Oh, Deirdre is very scary. I'm afraid of Deirdre so much. The very worst thing you can do right now is bore me. Oh my god. You're not going to believe me anyway, are you? No. I suppose not. She's all yours, Dr. Gorst. Can I just say that, like, I don't even know what that actress's name is, but she's amazing. Poor Bix. Yeah, but then, like, this anxiety is back. I could use a proper meal. Two left to fret. Oh, what do you say, old timer? Short timer. What do you want? Be 41 shift tomorrow. You are the next man out. You are the shortest of the short. Yay! New man for them today. Always the next day, right? You know the drill. <laughs> Kino, don't mess around. Poor Olaf. By the time he's free, he's gonna be toast. It's much safer for you to be tethered as we engage. There's nothing intrinsically um, physical about this process, but we've had some early trials that were a bit chaotic. Why are you so happy, you creep? There's an outer rim moon called Dizon Frey. There was a sentient species there, quite unusual. Extremely hostile to the concept of an Imperial refueling center that was being planned. They make a sound as they die, a sort of choral, agonized pleading. It's quite unlike anything anyone has ever heard before. Twisted, he's so twisted. We've taken the recordings and modified them slightly, and we found a section of what we believe are primarily children, which has its own particular effect. Oh, God. So not an interrogation droid at all. Let me know when you're willing to cooperate. Oh, and if you're having difficulty speaking, just shake your head from side to side. Are we ready? Come Let's on, Bex. Huh? 
Well, thank you for not. Or maybe we can't hear it? Okay, thank God we can't hear it. I'm taking my run. What does he mean, his run? Is that like a bathroom break? What are they putting together? Like, what, 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 what are they, they coming up with right now? On program. New man on the floor. Everyone hold position. What the hell was that? Ugh. Silence! The elevator's not wired. Nothing that moves can fry you. Ah. That's where they're using the wands. We attack while they're coming down. Now. They'll just go back up. We shut it down halfway. Oh, they're gonna Take be in guard, so much trouble. Weapon. Okay, like, I thought they were going to take a run for it. Oh my god. The anxiety. Don't put them away. You okay, Bixie? Shall we begin? When was the last time you spoke with Cassian Andor? I'd crack. I'm not good at torture. Keep her alive. As a hostage. She's the only one we've got who can identify Axis. And Salmon Park? I don't care. I'd like to hang him. Oh, What's Jesus. Him, anyway, make sure they know who's in charge. As you wish. Dedra. Still a great character, but whoo, is she evil? They called from the residence your cousin. She's arrived. What? She's there now. Well, they said you'd want to know. Who's her cousin? Yeah, see sign language. Talking to each other. Enough from you, Melchior. Oh, that's terrifying. What, that? what is that? A reset. So they cut the power. What do you think's happening? Yeah, followed up by the alarm. Nothing good. Everybody calm down! Something's really wrong on two! Are you all scrambled or something? It takes a week for one word to get all the way up here and you're panicking about something that's happening on the other side of the building! Stand in place, on program, feet down, face front, hands on heads. It's nice that Kino's not like against them talking to each other. Jeez. That prison's insane. Uh, Aunt Vel's been to Tassio Moon. Look what she brought me. Aunt Vel? I have an opinion. We'll see if he lets you wear it. He lets me do anything I want. Hmm. Okay. It's all connecting. Been? The Empire doesn't rest, Mon. The rebellion comes first. We take what's left. Seriously, Vel. What does he have for you doing? Who? Hmm. Smart. Please tell me you're being careful. Things are happening. There's risk. There's no other way. I love how these two talk in code. It fits. <laughs> oh, nice. Interesting. Val is her cousin. That's how she met Luthen. How many guards on each level? You want out of here alive. Turn that part of your mind off. Hmm. Okay. That's not how Cassian works. You think they're listening? You think they care enough to make an effort? They don't need to care. All they need to do is turn this floor on twice a day and keep their numbers rolling. Why bother listening to us? We are nothing to them. Valid points. We're cheaper than droids and easier to replace. Good luck to you. You think they care what we say? Nobody's Good listening. night. Nobody. <laughs> How many guards on each level? Cassian, come on. Nobody's listening. Nobody's listening! 
Somebody might be listening, but I doubt it. They don't need to. You're trying to connect old Dandy. That's a bit of a stretch. He was clean shaven. Hmm. And or had shaved. The rebels at Aldani were clean shaven. Mm-hmm. An Aldani connection would certainly amplify interest. Mm hmm Let's follow that up. You didn't question Good the job, mother? buddy. I decided to wait. Better now leaving her in place and standing back. She's too old and frail for anything yeah, leave serious. Marvel, um... And if nothing else, she's our bait. We're on her full time. That smile, gosh. I don't know, again, who the actress is that plays Dedra, but she is fantastic. You're kidding. They don't know about it. If they were fried out. They killed They're all gone. Who's all said? of them? Both shifts. hundred men. That can't be right. You heard nothing. What did he say? I don't know. I don't know. What happened on to? Yeah. We don't know. Um, they set them all free. <laughs> Gino! Program! Gino! Mm-hmm. I think Kino oh, loses it there for a second. It's a rumor. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. It's just another day, another shift. So let's keep our mouths shut, keep our heads down, until we know what's going on. Oh, he does not believe the things that he's saying right now. He's terrified. Andy Serkis is a really good actor. Oh, the acting in this episode is just so good. Home late, up early. Ugh, this lady. Groomed, trimmed your hair. You've been searching my room again. It's mm. called cleaning. I like a tidy house. You've been in my private box. Mm -mm. I have ways of knowing. Imagine. Imagine I'd cracked under the weight of your neglect. Imagine I'd cracked and wasn't <laughs> here now to pick up the pieces. The slurp. <laughs> I've been promoted. Have you now? I knew they'd recognize your prowess. Sure you did. Oh, you lost. You scare me. Like, even his acting is just impeccable. He's gonna get hurt, something's gonna go wrong. Come on, boys. I hate seeing him struggle. Find yourself a husband? Wasn't on my list of things to do. Hmm. Well, you need a widower at this point. Who's left of any value at your age? Yes. Ow. All the good ones are taken. Like Perrin. Be a spoiled rich girl for a while. Remind people that's who you are. We'll try. Mm. What have we done, Belle? We've chosen a side. We're fighting against the dark. I'm truly enjoying getting more depth into Vel's character. The outfits in the show are just top notch. They're very like monotone, but like they're very at the same time like intricate. Did he get promoted or was he just saying that to like shut his mother up? Sure, Corn. I know who you are. Mm-hmm. What are you doing here? I... He wants a job. I wanted to thank you for the promotion. Oh, he did get I a had promotion. Nothing to do with it. Have you been waiting mm -hmm. out here? Yes. I'd never lie to you. Mm. Try to follow on the conversation we had last month. That wasn't a conversation. You were brought in for questioning. Are you stalking me? Yeah. I know you work here. And I come sometimes to see if I'll see you. Just being in your presence, I... I realized that life was worth living. I realized that if nothing else, there was justice and beauty in the galaxy. And if I just kept going... Perhaps my deranged mm. belief that there was something better fated for me in the future was a dream. Worth clinging to. You come near me again, you pursue any of this, and I swear I'll have you in a cage on the outer rim. Oof. She is scary. <laughs> run, Karn, run. You are out of your depth, Cyril. 
There's a 400,000 credit withdrawal that's proving a bit of a problem. It appears on the ledger, then it vanishes. It needs to be papered over. How much trouble am I in? Well, it's no trouble mm. at all unless they scan the accounts. But that's coming. Yep. Mm-hmm. I need a loan. A certain kind of loan. You seem to have thought this through. You have someone in mind. It's not a long mm. list. And yet you're afraid to say who it is. Davos Calden. Who? At what cost? I'm not sure. He wants to meet you. He wants to meet here. <sighs> I could keep looking. Especially a thug. That's going to be dangerous. We've got a rebel pilot in custody, one of Anto Krieger's group. He was picked up at a customs check. He's telling us there's a raid planned on the power station at Spellhouse. What if we foul the ship? An accident, something mechanical. Have the pilot found dead in the cockpit, staged it properly, let it drift into traffic. Make it so top priority quickly and carefully we leave no trace. Excellent work. Hedger is good. I want a meeting with military intelligence immediately about Spellhouse. Let's go. Yeah, go, guys. Tedrick, like, ran out the door immediately. Interesting. It's so interesting to watch all of this work. It's like a look behind the curtain. Olaf? Come on, let's get this done. Oh, no. Somebody his age shouldn't be working the shifts. And there's, like, no way to give him your food or help him out or give him more energy or... Oh! Kino really paying attention to. Oh, he needs a doctor. It's the cell. Do they get doctors on this place? Hang in there, Olaf. You only got a few shifts left. You're going home. And I bet his sentence was doubled, so he shouldn't even be there. Prisoner that's a doctor. Interesting. Or a nurse or EMT. <laughs> Who knows what his qualifications are? He's only got 40 shifts left. Just want to get him up and about. He's tough as an old rock. Look at me, brother. His name is Olaf. I don't want to know his name. He's got 40 shifts left. So we just want something to get him through the next few days. That's another option. What? What does that mean? You can't save him. There's nothing to save. He's had a massive stroke. What a horrible place to die. What are you doing? I can't help him. I can't help you... anyone. Are you gonna euthanize him? He's lucky. He'll pass peacefully, which is more than I can say for the rest of us. What do you mean? You heard me. All his shoulders. You. All his legs. What is he talking about? I'm on level two. Yeah. You'll feel nothing. That doesn't look like he's feeling nothing. <sighs> he's passed. made a mistake. A man who was just released on four ended up back on two the next day. Work got out on the floor and then they killed them all. You need those other men there? They're just wow. moving. Now. No one's getting out, are they? Ever. Oh, no. Not after this. Let's go, come on, let's go. Now. Let's go. How many guards on each level? Yeah, spell key. Never more than twelve. <laughs> oh, it's all coming together now. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I've had anxiety the entire time now. Like I feel tightness in my chest. Is it anxiety? Is it stress? I don't think it's a heart attack. Dear God. All right. Denise, go. Denise, go. Keep an eye on her. Maybe she's already had an illustrious career, but like, 
Damn, is she impressive in this. Oh. Did they have to start with that shot? Sad. Do you have to wheel him through the room? Or fly him? There's no wheels. We need to go tomorrow. Tomorrow. You heard me? Go where? Anyway. Yeah, go where? It has to be tomorrow. They just killed a hundred men to keep them quiet. Yeah. What would you call that? I'd call that power. Power. Power doesn't panic. Exactly. Whatever we're making here is clearly something they need. Yeah, I want to know what they're making. They'll replace Olaf tomorrow. Oh, it okay. might not happen again until it's too late. That's I'd why. I'd rather die trying to take them down than die giving them what they want. Absolutely. Oh, what a line. The old guy. New man. Tomorrow. What's going on? Holy shit. It's on. The old guy. They fried two shifts to keep it quiet. You heard him say this. I don't even know that. I don't believe it. He's only a doctor. Kino just wants to get out, doesn't he? No one is getting out. We're gonna die here or in the next place. Mm-hmm. Gotta do something. So let's get our heads back in our cells and start figuring this out. <sighs> Glad he snapped out of it. He got rid of that fear almost immediately. I don't think we should step away. No, huh? We should do what we normally do. We'd want to take a look, wouldn't we? Let's assume Krieg is watching. The least suspicious thing that we could do would be to take an interest. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what we will do. Smart. It's so interesting to see all this coming together. Play it how you want. But I'm going to assume I'm already dead. Oh. And take it from there. Good plan. There's no sense in warning the night shift. They'll hear about it one way or another soon enough. Oh my god, I love Andy Serkis. He's so good. He's so good. Oof, easy Cassian. Oh my god, today's the day. It's gonna happen. It's going down. Oh my god. <laughs> the anxiety and the stomach pain I have right now. I was here once, 30 years ago. I know it's tasteless and cliche, but one of the indulgences of great wealth is freedom from other people's opinions. Hmm. You've made your point. I've met your husband several times. I'm sure. <laughs> oh. I take it that's not a corner we're turning in this conversation. It is not. So, searching for a more fluid banking situation, are we? We yeah. discussed all this, Dabba. What will it cost? My fee. We assume it's a percentage of funds transferred. I want no fee. Money what? means very little to me at this point. Charity, isn't it? Oh. I insist. And I refuse. I'd prefer not to owe any favours. Smart. Very smart. A drop of discomfort may be the price of doing business. I'd like a return invitation. I'd like to come back here at least once. I have a 14-year-old son. I'd like to bring him with me. To meet your daughter? I can't be serious. Oh my God. I, I'm not asking for betrothal. And what are we talking about? An yeah. introduction. Her daughter's 13. She'll soon come of age. Is that your only offer? Mm. I'm afraid so. Tay will see you out. Oof. That was a bold ask. That's a lot to think about. I'm not thinking about it. That's the first untrue thing you've said. Oh. It's been a pleasure. Called her out. Mostly because she knows she has to consider it. He knows that she has to consider it. He wants a meeting. Face to face. There goes the day. 
I don't like it. Not now. I don't like the timing. You don't like anything. And if it's a trap? Well, if it's a trap, we've already lost. Make your way. Are we really doing this? Yes, Still you're really doing it. Out. Don't care how. I'm dead. I'm dead. Hey, hey, I'm pretending to be dead. Everybody's gonna be dead. Don't die till you put up a fight. Yeah. You're not getting out of there alive, so you might as well. I just don't know what's happening. Are they cutting the hydraulic? Is that what that is? Hands on your head, eyes front, feet down. Oh, baby, you're gonna have a hard day. The <laughs> poor new guy has no idea what's coming. They even want you to calm down. How? I thought you were dead already. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Three man ready on five two D requesting unit override. What exactly are they planning on doing here? Good job, Cassian, good job. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, On program. Oh my god. I am so tense. On program. New man on the floor. Everyone hold positions. New man on the floor! Hold your position! I feel like I have my hands up like this. Lift engaged. What did you say to me? I said nothing. I mean, if you want to say something, you should say it now. You start to get them! Alright! You lie! Back up program! Back up program! Nice, 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 nice. Oh! New guy! Welcome to the team, buddy. Oh, bye. Short lived. Oh my gosh. Oh no! Oh my god. The water, though, or the liquid. <sighs> Shorted it. Go time. <laughs> Good, good, good. Oh yeah, buddy, you were gonna have a bad day anyway. Let's go! I thought that was hydraulics, it just seems to be water, just enough to short everything out. It's leaking! I by no means think this is going to be 100% a success because people have already died, but put on some boots. Oh my god, I am so tense right now. Oh my gosh. 
wild, wild. My heart is racing. Oh my god. I just got really tired looking at all the stairs. Good job. Good job. Five, 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 three, five, six. Burn a firewall around it. Try the whole level. Make the epicenter five, two. Too Boom. late. There's nobody there. You shouldn't be here. Turn it off. Excuse me? Turn it off! That could mean so many things. <laughs> I'll turn it I'd turn it off if I were you. Step away. Caught the power. It's all hydro. Once we turn it off, it takes months to get it back up and running again. <laughs> They're not gonna like sink now though, right? What about those whirlpools? There. Move! On program! Now! <laughs> I love it. You alright, buddy? Tell him what to do. It has to be you. Come on, Kino. You do this every day. Tell him what to do. You're the man. You can do it. My name is Kino Loy. I'm the day shift manager on level five. I'm speaking to you from the command center on level eight. Is that the best you got? Come on. All the floors are cold. Please be cold. Wherever you are, right now, get up. Take charge and start climbing. We will never have a better chance than this. And I would rather die try to take them down than giving them what they want. And now we know that when they say we are being released, we are being transferred to some other prison to go and die. And that ends today. There it is. There is one way out right now. The building is ours. You get them moving and you keep them moving until we put this place behind us. There are 5,000 of us. One way out! One way out! One way out! One way out! Wouldn't you be afraid that they were going to do something, though? Look at that. So good. The camera work is amazing. These shots are amazing. Oh, this music is amazing. All of it. I can't swim. Oh no! What? What did he say? I can't swim! No! Come on, Kino. Just jump, baby. Just jump. Jump and kick. That's all you gotta do. I'm glad to see the whirlpools aren't a thing anymore. Oh my god, why, why are you gonna go to this? I wanna know more about the prison. <laughs> Wait, is he part of the rebellion? Because he was the one that suggested going and looking at the ship. This is a trap. Press the buttons for 215. Ugh. Your daughter 
Healthy, beautiful. You must be pleased. Is that meant to scare me? Well, it's been a year since we've had a chance to catch up. Do you ever think how it might feel from my side? I think about you constantly. Yikes. <laughs> I would hate to hear that, actually. There's a new supervisor rising. Ned Romero. She's focused on a suspect she's calling Axis. Yeah. She thinks he's building a rebel network, and now she's looking for a link to Aldani. Well, this is good. Encourage this. Why is this good? Yeah, because she's good? wasting time. You had nothing I to don't do with so. Aldani. Well, almost nothing. We were invited, but declined. They got lucky. We don't build on luck. This can't be why you're here. We know that there's a raid planned on the power station at Spellhouse. If Krieger attacks, they'll be waiting. And if he doesn't, they'll know something's amiss. They'll be slaughtered. It's 50 men. You're worth Listen, more than that. You have to warn them. To what end? Ruin everything? What better way to reassure the ISB that there's no leak in security than sacrificing Krieger? I'm doing this for you. As much as anything. Wow. I can't do this anymore. I'm a father now. I had no idea how it would feel. But what was your plan? Gather a big basket of goodies for me as a farewell gift? Kinda. You love your daughter. Krieger's men will be dying to make sure she has a father. You're trapped, Lonnie. My sacrifice means nothing to you, does it? We need heroes, Lonnie, and here you are. And what do you sacrifice? Calm, kindness, kinship, love. I've given up all chance at inner peace. I made my mind a sunless space. Peace. I share my dreams with ghosts. I'm damned for what I do. I'm condemned to use the tools of my enemy to defeat them. I burn my decency for someone else's future. I burn my life to make a sunrise that I know I'll never see. So what do I sacrifice? Everything! Just stay with me, Lonnie. I need all the heroes I can get. Helen Skarsgård. Wow. From the lighting to the sound, that, that whole monologue. Unbelievable. Where's Kino? They can't be the only people that made it. I guess I won't find out until I... <sighs> oh my gosh. Now I'm addicted. Now I'm going to be upset when this ends because it's so good. Oh my god. Like, I literally can't even tell you how embarrassed I am that I stopped watching this because it's such a good show. I mean, can I just say that, like, there are so many, like, moments that I am so captivated by the characters. Whether it's it's Mon Mothma or she's talking to, is his name Devo? Devo? Like, the, the moment when he's, like, trying to negotiate essentially her daughter, he's like, oh, it's not a betrothal. Uh, sure. Sure it's not. You want it to be, though. When she comes of age, um, like Stellan Skarsgård, just at, I keep saying Skarsgård, it's Skarsgård, um, but Stellan Skarsgård, like it, like the monologue that he dropped just then, the visual with his cape and the wind and the echo of his voice, the 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 lighting, like on on the other guy, and and just like the whole like scene, like just the the sound editing, the the acting, it's just everything everything the the prison break like just the, the like andy circus 
Oh my gosh, like Kino, like I thought he was going to be kind of like an a-hole. I thought like he was going to be more trouble. Like he's like wanting to get to the end of a sentence. So he's wanting to like all the P's and Q's, you know, to, to be followed. And really all it kind of took was for him to realize that it's his life either way. He's not getting out. And even if he got out, he's just going somewhere else to serve more time. And it's just like this this thing that like this, this oh, that is so cruel. That is so cruel. And the fact that Olaf was never going to get out, they literally worked him to death. But his sacrifice made the jailbreak possible. Thank you, Olaf. You, Olaf. You know, these names, they call him Olaf. I would have, I would have nailed that one every single time. But Olaf, I don't know. You, Olaf. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> but like, like the, the acting that we get, like even from Denise Go and, and um, I don't know who plays Karn, but those moments, like they are like acting with like the like ends of their hair to the tips of their toes. The air around them is being manipulated by their ability to just like act outside of their body. They are projecting their character. Especially Denise, damn. Like every like little thing, like where like she's kind of like snarling a little bit at Bix, and then like like the the small smiles that she has, and like the sternness that like when she's talking to Karn and she's kind of talking with her front teeth. Like there's so many little nuances in her performance. She's so good. Like I know, like I shouldn't really like her character, but I really like her character because it's so well performed. I want depth though. I want more depth to that character because I feel like we got depth from Karn. You know, we we've got depth from from Merva, we've got depth from Bix, we've got depth from from Kino. Like there's all these characters we're getting all this depth from like learning about the sacrifice that Luthen has had to put forward that pretty much he has no life whatsoever. The the life that he is living is empty and the life that he has separately from that his other identity also very empty. All he has is the rebellion. And he doesn't want to let these people go for, except for Cassian. For some reason, he didn't think he could use Cassian anymore. That sucks. Um, but like, like it's, it's, it's just like, like, wow. As soon as I saw that guy, like kind of weaving through everybody, I was like, oh my God, he's part of the rebellion. That's why he suggested that they actually go there and, and they investigate and they do exactly what they're supposed to do. Such a well-written show, very well directed, very well shot. Like, I mean, a lot of the shots, like with like the prisoners in the stairs and and running through the hallways and like just the coordination of that. And then like the swimming away from the prison, like just amazing. All of this is so amazing. I am so interested in how this is going to end because now that Cassian is out, I have a feeling he's going to go back to Ferrix. Um, he's, he's got to go back to wherever his money is, like on top of the shower. Um, but then like, he's got to go back to Ferrix because something's going to go down on Ferrix. Vel. Oh my gosh. Forget about Vel being the cousin of Mon Mothma. Like, can I tell you that like when Vel was first introduced to us, I was just like, ah, oh, roughneck, you know, rebel, you know, just, just like, I, I don't want to say like a bad person, but not like really somebody that like you could flush out as a character <laughs> wrong. A uh, rich girl. Insane. Insane. And, and like, you can tell it's the same person. She's not playing her the same at all. Like there was Vel that was in Aldani and now there's Vel that's like dressed real nice. And then there's Vel on Ferrix. Just insane. And by the way, Perrin mentioning that she's too old. For a mate. <laughs> Fuck you, Perrin. <laughs> Gotta hate that guy. Yeah, and I really like the like the little smile that you know my moth was kind of like it's just smiling away because Vel is just kind of quipping back, and I love it. Now, obviously, Mon's got to take the deal. She's oh god, that sucks that she's gonna have to do that with her daughter. But her daughter doesn't like her anyway, so whatever. And maybe the boy's really cute, but um, I imagine that uh, being involved with a, I don't want to say a crime boss, but if he's a thug, I assume he's a crime boss. Um, being involved with him means you're gonna be owing a lot of favors or doing a lot of things you don't want to do. That sucks.
Um, with Bix, <laughs> she seems traumatized. Uh, the doctor is terrifying. I really thought they were going to use an interrogation droid. Who knew? Who knew? This, the sounds of an alien species' children crying out for help apparently is enough to break you. And it seemed like Bix talked. You know, thankfully she didn't know Luthen's name. She didn't know his location. She didn't know anything other than, you know, calling him the buyer. But wow. Now, I don't know if she's going to be a fried egg. And I don't know what's going to happen. Because um, there's like the group of people that are on Ferrix that were concerned about a woman not taking her medication. And I, 100% it's Marva. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's part of her plan. Like, to, to cause, like, medical chaos and then, like, let's take down the Empire. Like, I, I don't know what she's doing. I She's not a stupid woman. So, I keep thinking, like, her mind's going. Like, like that she's, like, kind of going through, like, an Olaf thing. Like, where, you know, her body's going on her and, and she's still trying to do something. And I don't know if it's effective or not. But I don't know if that's a misdirect. So, I'm supposed to think that. Or she's actually... Um, She's going to lead something crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I think, uh, especially with Clem dying, that she'd be willing to risk her life for the uh, rebellion, especially if her life isn't really, if she's not really living her life. I am so intrigued. I, I'm, 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 I'm excited for the last two episodes. I'm a little scared, but I'm really excited at the same time because I feel like, uh, I feel like that's where everything's going to come to a head. And I feel like that's, where we're going to really see Cassian become Cassian Andor, the, 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 the part of the rebellion that we've seen in Rogue One. Um, I don't know if we're done with Saw. I think with, um, with the other rebellion leader, I, I forget their names, but uh, the, 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 the guy pretty much that's going to be captured because of the uh, Imperials. I don't know if that'll light a fire under Saw or not, that somebody got taken down. It seemed like Luthen was willing to sacrifice him. He's like, 50 men? No big deal. But, I mean, you don't, you, you don't stage a rebellion and you don't uh, move forward without a lot of losses. A lot of blood, a lot of death, a lot of sacrifice. Okay, guys, if you want to see the full-length reactions to these episodes, they will be available on my Patreon, as well as full-length reactions to other shows that I'm watching, like House of the Dragon, The Expanse, Vox Machina, uh, The Bad Batch recently. Um, but uh, whew, I am so glad that I came back to this show. I am so glad that I listened to the people that care about me who were like, you have to watch it. And then people in the comments, people on Patreon, they were just like, hey, you can finish that because it was really good. I don't feel like I'd be pestered if it weren't true. And it has, it has definitely, uh, made an impact on me. I am so excited to get to the last two episodes, but then I, I don't know how long I have to wait for season two. Cause I know it was approved for season two. Um, it's good stuff. So good. Uh, but in the meantime, like subscribe, leave a comment down below. Um, just, <laughs> I know I watched two episodes, so there was a lot to cover, but like who had the best acting moment in this? Cause I'm telling you, Stellan, Andy, Denise, like they're all, Gwendolyn, I think is her name that plays Mon Mothma. They're all just spectacular. I mean, I feel like Luthen is like probably a, a character favorite of a lot of people. And I feel like Kino, uh, definitely is because of the background from Andy Serkis. And it was really funny because when he was talking through the microphone, uh, like talking to all of the prisoners and he was giving his monologue that they had like the voice change. And it kind of sounded like Snoke a little bit. Like I was slightly distracted by it, but it was kind of like also like making me happy because like Andy Serkis is so involved in like all of the things that like I grew up like loving. You know, like if it wasn't Lord of the Rings, it was Star Wars, you know, like like there's just the it's just an embarrassment of riches when whenever we have Andy Serkis involved with anything. I don't know if he still had my favorite moment. I think Stellan did with the, the monologue on the bridge, but definitely it was uh, memorable. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to get to the next two episodes. Um, I, I It's after midnight right now. So <laughs> as somebody who said like, oh, I can't like do these reactions at midnight because I don't have any energy. Now I'm full of energy. I'm like, oh, I should watch the next two right now. 
but I won't do that to you. I want to be refreshed. I want to be recharged and I, I want to, I, I want to be ready. So with that being said, <laughs> I'll see ya.